Ooh. All righty. Hi guys. Welcome back. So last week I taught you how to make clay. This week I'm going to show you how to make some really cute gnomes with that clay. So we are going to end up making one of these cute guys. All right. So he's got a little nose. He's got a beard. You can't really see his eyes. And he's got a really cute little hat. Basically, he just sits on anything, just hangs out. But he might be cute for some decorations this summer. So let's check out how to make this little guy. So you're gonna grab your bowl of clay that we made last week. And you're gonna grab a pretty good chunk. So maybe a little bit more than that, a little less than that, depending on how big you want your guy to be. And you're gonna go ahead and roll it into a ball. If your clay is sticky, what you can do is you can add a little cornstarch to it and that'll help prevent it from sticking to your hands. If your clay is dry, you can add a little bit of water to it and that'll help kind of help you mold it. But if you did it right, what should happen is you should be able to roll a ball and all of the seams will disappear. Um, so there's no cracks, there's no, there's no problems. So once you have it into a ball, you're gonna kind of squish it in your hands a little bit to make it more of an egg shape. And then at the top, you're gonna squish it even more and let the bottom hang out. So I'm just squishing the top to kind of get that pointed hat and leaving the bottom nice and round. So I kind of get that. I'm gonna hold it flat in my hand so I get a nice round part. And I'm just gonna shape it so I get a pointed hat. And you can keep going up nice and gradually squish from the bottom and work your way up until you get the shape that you're going for. So you want to do this nice and slowly so you don't crack it. And if you do get some cracks in it, you can kind of just fill it in with your fingers. It's just like Play-Doh, except this Play-Doh we're going to dry. So I want my man, my little gnome to have a round bottom and a pointed top because that's going to be my hat. So don't get too particular about the hat. We're going to go back in there and mess with it a little bit. All right. So now what we're going to do, now that you have your basic shape, make sure the bottom is fairly even all around. We're going to make it flat on the bottom so it actually sits on something. So find a flat surface, put it on the flat surface and give it a nice flat bottom so when you're ready and it's dry it'll sit properly okay so now we can start shaping the hat and by that i'm just going to do the brim of the hat i'm going to use a dowel or um a swab stick and i'm just going to go around and create the brim where i want the brim of my hat and i want my hat to come down a little bit more in the back than it does in the front. So I just created a general line all the way around. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna kinda try and lift it up a little so it looks more like a brim. So I'm just taking the stick and kind of putting it underneath so it looks like more of a hat. All right, and once I have that, I can go ahead and start forming my nose. So the back of my hat comes down a little bit. It's the front. I'm gonna squish here and try and get my nose. I want a nice round nose, so I'm just squishing, pushing up, trying to make that nice round look. And you can push up into the brim of the hat a little to make it more authentic. And once you have your nose looking the way you want it to, I'm going to take it and I'm going to squish it a little bit more so I get that round nose look. You might want it to droop down a little, so I got mine drooping down a little. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and touch up my hat again because when I made the nose, it 
mess up my brim. So I'm gonna go in there and just make sure the brim of the hat looks nice and even. Work it all the way around. And now the easiest part after you've done that is you're gonna make the beard. So you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna do a little indents. So pick a side, thicker part of the dowel. Um, you can use toothpicks too. And you're just gonna make little indents below the nose, around the nose, and all the way around. So now you're gonna wanna put your fingers on the hat and the bottom and go ahead and just make hair. Don't mind my dog in the background. <laughs> and here we go. So I'm just making beard hair and the back of the hair because gnomes have a lot of hair and they got big frilly beards. Um, every time I make gnomes, I think of, uh, oh goodness gracious, the Smurfs. I just have those really big beards. So I went all the way around. I've created lines all the way around to give it a hair effect. You can go back and touch up those lines if they're not straight enough. Okay. And now that you have your nose, your beard, now you can start messing with the hat just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna put the dowel down, and I'm gonna shape my hat so it has a little curve at the top. So I'm going to try and keep my finger on the bottom, maybe his nose a little, and I'm going to start curving the top of my hat so it has a nice little arc to it. Okay, and you can curve it as much as you want or as much as the clay is going to allow you to. And if you mess up your beard, don't worry, you can go back and touch that up as well. So... Here's my little arc. I'm going to make a little point, keep dragging it down. And again, if you start to crack, just add a little bit of water. That'll help smooth out any of those cracks. All right, so now I have my gnome hat. I don't think I mess up the beard too, too much, but I am going to mess with the brim a little bit more. So I'm going to go back and just lift up. So it makes a little bit of an arc. I'm gonna squish it down a little so it looks more authentic like a hat. Okay, and I'll do that on the back as well. Just gonna lift it up a little, kind of just rolling my uh, shish kebab stick underneath to give it a little lift and then I'm just gonna squish it down so it makes it look like the hat is actually sitting on the gnome's hair. All right, and once again, grab by the hat and just go back in there and touch up the hair because I want just straight lines. And I definitely messed up the front beard a little, but I can go in and just fix that. So I'm just going in, putting these little indents in here. If I see a mess up part of the hat, I'll do that. Head, indents, and once they're all relatively straight and they look good, my hat doesn't look like it's really, really crooked or has a start and not an end. There we go. And so again, you can manipulate anything in here. You can mess with the nose a little bit more, a little bit less, and that's my gnome. So now the trick with this is you want it to dry fairly slowly. So what you can do is you can cover this guy with plastic wrap and then leave him in a, um, a dark, cool place so that he dries really slowly 
And after one to two days, he should be fairly dry. And then what you're gonna do is if you want to, you can make him a little bit more sturdy, put him in the oven at 200 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then that's gonna make him come out pristine clean and then you can paint him. Um, you can uh, spray him with a clear acrylic coat and that'll make him actually a little bit more water resistant. Uh, it's not a sure thing, it's not a guarantee, but you can definitely give it a whirl. And um, yeah, that's it. So this is your little gnome tutorial, okay? If you do make a gnome or some other cool creation with your kids or your family and friends at home, post up in the comments, let us know how it is. If not, I will see you next Wednesday at three o'clock. Till then.